Welcome to another lesson um, in our edition on GSAT past paper questions. Now, in this lesson, we're, we are asked to find 40% 40, 40 of 320. Now, an uh, easy way of looking at this is that the word of means to multiply. So, let me just underline that very important word. Of means to multiply. Now, if you are asked to find four, 40 percent of 320 as in this case anytime asked to find the percentage of a number you're going to take the number that is in front of the percentage sign that's what I'm I have put in the square brackets here the 40 in the square box rather now I'm going to say 40 and I'm going to put that 40 over 100 Okay, and then I'm going to multiply that by 320, all right? And 320 and off again. Remember, off means to multiply. Now, um, this, can be, this can be done uh, many ways. Um, I, I'm going to show you one way. I, I'm going to show you one way first, and then we're going to work it another way, okay? Now, if you look carefully, um, the number 40 is the same as 4 times 10, okay and 100 is the same as 10 times 10 so 40 as we have here initially um, is the same as 4 times 10 and 100 is the same as 10 times 10 and I'm multiplying that by 320 now I could also express 320 as factors of, of 10 yeah so here I could say 320 is the same as 32 times 10, okay? And I'm put, putting all of that over 1 because I'm multiplying, yeah? Now, check this out carefully. I can say when I look here, I have a 10 in my, I have two 10s down here in my denominator multiplying. I have one up top and I have one over here. So by canceling, I could say this 10 can go into itself once and it will cancel that 10 down there also. Likewise, I can say this 10 can cancel out itself once and it can go into that 10 also. So here really what I have left is four times 32 all right and we know that 4 times 32 so what we have left here up top is is a 4 multiplying 32 that's what that's what's left over and 4 times 32 will is basically 128 because 4 twos will give me an 8 and 4 threes i would get a 12 okay so that's 128 so by process of elimination all right, we know that A would be out, A would be out, B also would be out. So our answer would be C. So I'm going to put C in a little rectangular box to suggest that that's our answer. Now, another way that uh, the teacher at school may have calculated this, um, and let's, let's look at it quickly. Um, again, you would have 40 over 100. This is the second method. And we're multiplying that by 320. All right. Um, basically, what you'd say, you'd say, since this is 100, you'll say the zero will cancel the zero. And then you'll say this zero also will cancel that zero. And as you see, we would have a 4 times 32 left over again. So this would be 4 times 32. And we would get back the same thing, which is 1. 28 okay so that's another way of looking at it um, feel free to choose any way that you prefer however when working with large numbers um, I think this method will help you in terms of finding factors and canceling out pretty easily but anyway you feel you feel comfortable with use that feel free to leave a comment or a question if you're not clear on a, part on a particular issue and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.